You know that you have to take exam P if you want to become an actuary. For most people, it's the first exam they take, especially if you want to work in Canada or the US. If you're like most people, it can be a bit overwhelming once you hear how difficult this exam is and how many people fail it. So let me know, is that you? Are you someone that has been wanting to try to take exam P for a while, but maybe you've been a bit scared of failing? Or maybe you are someone that has failed in the past and wants to try again. No matter what your situation is, this video is for you because I'm I'm going to be explaining the four must-have parts of a successful study strategy for exam P. Hey YouTube, I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and the leader of the Actuary Accelerator community. By now, you probably know the importance of having a really good study strategy. It can save you tons of time, it makes your studying way more efficient, it can reduce the stress, and usually it helps you pass your exam easier, which means you have a much less chance of failing. So a study strategy is essential if you want to give yourself the the best possible chance of passing your exam. Now, each of these four parts is essential. It's absolutely essential and equally important for a complete study strategy. So that's why I like to think of it in this sort of circle, just like I have put on the screen right here. So that's how I like to think of these four parts. They are all equally important and they all kind of make a complete circle because they all are needed for a complete study strategy. So let's talk about each of these individual pieces. Now the first thing is study material. You are going to need some study materials that are going to teach you all the exam P concepts that you need to know in order to pass your exam. So there are really two different types of study materials. You can either get a study manual, which means that you're reading through the study material, or you can watch video lessons. Both of them teach the exam concepts in similar ways. It's just that one you're going to be reading, the other one you'll be watching the content and consuming it through like video slideshow presentation type things where a professor or someone that knows the material really well is teaching the concepts through a slideshow. So those are the two main ways of studying for exam P. Now there are some things you want to look for when you are choosing your study materials. You want to make sure that the source is reputable and you also want to make sure that everything is explained in a way that is really clear and understandable for you. Not everyone is going to understand every single study material so you want to make sure you get a sample of it and make sure that it fits with your learning style and that you like it and that it makes sense to you. You also want to make sure that there are lots of practice problems included. I highly recommend doing tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of practice problems while you prepare for exam P. So it is very important that your study material has lots of practice problems included with it. The third thing you want to look for in your study material is the support that you're going to get. There are probably going to be things throughout your study period that you just don't understand. So if you have an email address that you can email when you need questions answered or maybe a Q&A forum where you can get your questions answered, that is going to be so beneficial for your study period because it's going to make sure that you have the support you need to understand the concepts. The second part of an effective study strategy is your study plan. Now, having a plan on exactly how you are going to be fully prepared for your exam by exam day is really, really important because if you don't know what you need to get done every day, you have no clue if you're behind schedule, you have no idea what you need to get done, and usually that means you're going to end up cramming at the end of your study period as your exam gets closer. This is exactly what happened to me. Looking back on it, I can see now that a study plan would have made a huge difference in my studying, but I didn't have one. And that meant that I was always behind schedule from where I should be. And I really didn't even know that because I had no idea how much I needed to get done because I didn't have a study plan. And also it meant that I was cramming near the end of my study period as the exam got closer. And cramming makes me stressed. I don't like doing it, especially when I'm still not performing well. I remember doing lots of practice problems and still not understanding them when my exam was only a few days away Way and it stressed me out so badly. So having a study plan in place so you know exactly what you need to get done every single day is going to help reduce your stress and significantly increase your chances of passing because you are going to know exactly how much you need to get done every single day. The third part of an effective study strategy is 
accountability. Accountability is so important. And if you have watched many of my other videos, you probably already know how much I believe accountability is important for your study strategy. And that's because accountability is basically you committing to your exam. It's a commitment. Once you add accountability into your study strategy, you are going to find that it allows you to execute your study plan so much easier. So accountability is basically having someone that is expecting you to get your studying tasks done. It's kind of like having someone keep an eye on you and check in with you to make sure that you're actually doing the tasks that are in your study plan. I like to think of this or compare it to when you were in school or maybe you're still in school. When you were in school, you had a professor that was teaching the material and then you had specific tasks or assignments that were due on certain dates. You had exams that you had on certain dates and you were always ready for those or you always had those assignments completed on time because someone else was expecting those things of you. Then you can think of other things in your life where no one was really monitoring you, no one was there keeping you accountable and those are usually t the times when you end up quitting or falling behind or becoming demotivated because you don't have someone there that's rooting for you, that's keeping a tab on you and just being there to keep you going. So accountability is so important in a study strategy. And like I said before, this is really when you commit to your exam is when you add accountability in because once you add accountability, there's no getting out of it. You are finally committing. You are going to make this real and you are going to pass your exam. And that's what accountability can do for you. The fourth part of an effective study strategy is motivation. Okay, so I know while you are going through your study period, there are going to be times when you just do not feel like studying. There are going to be times when you are so demotivated because you can't figure out something that your study material is trying to explain. There are going to be times when you sit for 30 minutes or an hour or maybe even longer trying to figure something out and you will just not be able to get it or understand what is going on. And that's okay, but in order to get through those difficult parts, the best thing that you can do for yourself is find a way to be motivated. Now there are two really good ways to do this, two good ways. So the first is to find a group of other aspiring actuaries that are going through this at the same time as you. This is what works the best for me. If I have other people around me and I see that they're all doing these things and achieving great things, then that makes me want to do that too and it really motivates me. Another thing you could do is just really think about why you want to become an actuary. What makes this so important for you? Is it the money? Is it the job opportunities? Is it the challenge? Is it the opportunity to advance in your career? What is it that is really going to motivate you? And try to think of that when you are feeling like you just don't want to study, when you're feeling like giving up. Those are the things you're going to need to remember to keep up your motivation. So we talked about the four really important parts of an effective study strategy. Your study materials, your study plan, your accountability, and your motivation. Now, like I said, all four of these things are very important. So I wanna let you know where you can go to get all four of these things combined in one place so that you don't have to go all over the place searching for all these individual pieces. I have created something for you that is going to make this really easy for you to implement an effective study strategy and it is called an exam P warrior group. Warrior group? Warrior group? Did you say warrior group? Yes, a warrior group is essentially a study group of a whole bunch of people that are going through their study period at the exact same time as you. But it's way better than a study group because you get so many other benefits. You get all the four parts of a study strategy. So first you get your study materials. We have created exam piece study materials for you, which are video lessons that will help you learn all the concepts you need to know for exam P. They're taught by someone that has had tons of experience teaching these concepts. They are loved by their students. So I know that you're going to be able to understand these materials, even if you are someone that doesn't have much experience or exposure to the exam P topics already. They also have tons of practice problems, which we already talked about is really important in your study materials. In a warrior group, you get study materials. You also get a study plan, which was the second part that we talked about. So a study plan will help make sure that you are on track so that by the time exam day comes you are fully prepared. In the study plan you'll have daily tasks that you have to complete and everyone else in the group will also be completing those tasks on the same day so you'll have a lot of other people to 
discuss the different topics with and collaborate with and ask questions to. Third is accountability. Each warrior group is going to be split into two teams and this is how we're adding accountability into the warrior groups. That's because each of these teams are going to be competing for points and whichever team gets the most points is going to get the golden warrior medal. Now this is a golden medal that every single aspiring actuary wants to hang on their shelf of trophies and awards because it is so awesome. The golden warrior medal will be given to the team that gets the most points and you are going to be able to get points for your team by completing certain study tasks that we have assigned for you. So not only are you going to have one person keeping you accountable to your studying, but you are going to have a whole team of people that are expecting you to get your studying done because they want you to get points and they want to get that golden warrior medal. And I'm sure you do too. You do want to put it on your shelf, right? Okay, so that's how we are adding accountability into warrior groups. Now the fourth thing we talked about, fourth thing, was motivation. Now, if that competition that I talked about in part three, is it enough motivation for you to get your studying done? Well, you're also going to have a group of other aspiring actuaries that are going through this at the same time as you. And when you are feeling down, when you don't feel like studying, when you just don't get something, you will have a group of other aspiring actuaries that you can go to to get that boost of motivation that you need to get through your studying. So a warrior group has all four pieces of a complete study strategy. It has study materials. It has a study plan, it has accountability, and it has motivation for you. If you want to get into our warrior group, then you can go down into the description of this video and learn all about warrior groups and how they work. If you are watching this video in real time the week it was released, then actually we have a warrior group for exam P starting next week on May 10th. But if you are someone that is watching this video a little later, then you can get into our next one. You can still go down to the link in the description and it will show you and or tell you when the next warrior group is going to start. I am so excited for these. These are brand new and I know they are going to make your studying so much more fun, but also make sure that you have a complete study plan, which is so important to give yourself the best chance of passing exam P. Okay, that is all. I will see you in the next video and go check out those warrior groups. Bye for now.